Hi, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to write our config manager file. So a config manager file we are going to use for reading the properties file config.properties, which which basically contains our like base URL and other uh, uh, other constant variable which we need during our testing. So let's get started. As we discussed earlier, con this config manager is going to be part of utils folder. So let us create a new Java class file here, and we are going to name it as config manager dot Java. So once I have created a base class blank class here now i'm going to write the code here so for this first of all we need to have a a private uh, constructor because we are going to follow a singleton pattern here we want to have only one instance of config manager we do not want to uh, fill our memory with many instances of it so very first we are what we are going to do is we are going to we are going to write our uh, we are going to take a, a variable of config manager type and it is going to be private static and config manager sorry it is going to be config manager and let's say i name it as manager so i have taken a variable private static config manager and its name is manager now uh, we are going to use uh, we may need a one properties object so uh, if you are aware we can uh, we need to have this public properties object for reading the properties file so what we need to have we need to have private static final and uh, let's say properties properties and prop as equal to new properties so i had i just created a new properties object and now we can write our uh, constructor here our constructor is going to be a private because uh, we do not want any another class to make an object of this uh, config manager so what we are going to do is we are going to create a constructor private constructor throws uh, since we are reading the file so uh, it is better practice to uh, throw the IO exception because in many cases while reading the making the uh, connection with another files or reading them uh, using input stream we may need uh, to uh, basically uh, we may face IO exception so for that purpose I have thrown it so input uh, here now I need input stream I'm going to do the config manager dot class dot then get resource as stream this is the method and inside here we, we can pass the name or the path of the class uh, file which we want to read so the path of the file which we want to read is this one uh, config.properties which is inside this so what we are going to do is dot dot slash it will bring me out of here so uh, utils folder so once I am out of this utils folder, then uh, I may need one more, this one, and then I need to go to the resource folder because this is my resource folder. Here it is my resource folder, and then I have uh, config.properties, config.properties. And now I will close it. So now with this input stream object, what we are here, what we are trying to do is we are we, using this method get resource as input stream. We are creating an object of input stream, and then what we what we can do is we can uh, load the input stream into the properties. Uh, so for that we can do something like this: prop dot load input stream. Now, once we have done this, now we need to create a uh, method because uh, our constructor is private. So we need some way to create, uh, we need some way to get the object of this class. And for that purpose, what we are going to do, we are going to create a, a public method, which is going to, to be public, uh, public static. Let's say, uh, conf and it is going to return me the, uh, config manager object so this is the return type and let's say i 
uh, I name it as cat instance. And once I do this, uh, now, first of all, uh, as I told you that I want to make sure that my, if my manager is null, that means there is no object of, uh, uh, there is no object of config manager as of now in the memory. So in that case only, I just want to create an object of it. So for this purpose, uh, I have checked, put this check and then uh, I'm going to use the synchronized block uh, so that if uh, multiple files try to read this uh, so that there is no problem in that case. So because um, if multiple threads are going to access this, then uh, it, there may be some problem. So inside synchronized block, uh, we can pass the uh, the object and we can pass the config manager dot class. So once we have done this, after this, what we need to do since inside synchronized method, what we we are we can do the try catch block. Uh, so inside try catch block, what we are trying to do, we are we are making sure that we are populate populating this variable with the new object. So new config manager. Once we have done this, then then what is the next thing? What we are trying to do is. Now it says unhandled exception. Uh, so we will add catch block here. So I have added catch block here. Now, once we have added the catch block, now my manager is also returned. Now this method is complete. It is a very basic method. So what we are doing here is we are checking that. So this method is, uh, to get the instance of config manager because our constructor is private. So, uh, but we are making sure that if my manager is null, that means there is no manager object. Then only in that case, we are trying, we are creating the object of it. We do not want to populate our memory with many manager objects. So uh, now once this part is done, we need some way to get the values uh, from the, uh, from the basically, uh, that properties file that we are reading. So what we can do is we can write a method. Now we are going to return the string, string that string. Let's say this is my method name. Now inside this method, what I'm going to pass is why I'm going to pass the key because I want to um, get the values from the properties file based on the keys. So here we can, you can see that base URL is my key and this is my uh, value. So that's why I am passing here my key. So whenever we are going to call this method, we will be passing the key and we will be able to, uh, we will be able to get the value of that particular key. So for that case, what we, I'm going to do here is one method system dot get property. Here you can see system dot get property and key comma property dot get get property and here is I'm going to pass my key and it is something like this. So uh, I'm passing the uh, so this will return me the value based on my key system dot get property property dot get property and i'm passing that so now this config manager is complete and it have basically uh, let me quickly take you through this so basically this config manager is uh, following the singleton pattern so when we have we want to make any class singleton we want to make sure that there is only one object of that class into the memory so that's why we have kept our uh, config manager constructor as a private and the same way uh, then we need some another way uh, to create get the object of it so for that purpose we have uh, written this method get the instance this will return me the instance of config manager type and it will create an object only in case if manager is null that means if there is no object otherwise if there is some uh, there is an object it will return that object it's very as simple as that and then we need a way to get the uh, since we have uh, using this input stream we have loaded the properties file into the input and we have made the connection and then 
uh, we need some way to get the values from the properties file. So this way we are going to use this uh, get string. So we are passing the key and then based on that key, we are returning the value. So uh, that's all for this video and we will move on to the next chapter.